Hey, welcome back to another episode of John's Crypto Therapy. On today's episode, we're going to look at Bitcoin. And of course, we're going to take a look at OMI. The reasons why I wanted to start with the Bitcoin price action here is because yesterday I did release a video and we were right here at this very moment. We did see this wick rejection. We did see a beautiful downwards move. And I told a lot of my subscribers, watch out for these type of fake outs. Reasons why we're in an upwards channel, upwards channel with a lot of wick rejections. So us seeing these type of wick rejections is not a bad thing this is showing us that there's buyers here yes sellers were trying to sell but the buyers picked it up real quick i did say this is the type of kind of formation we could see and of course you guys could see we do have a wick and a body above structure this is giving confirmation yes we should slowly see price going up but not too fast and i'm going to talk about that and what we need to see onwards in order for us to keep going up okay we did get rejected at s1 so this is our pivot daily pivot this is our s1 now and you guys could see it did find wick rejections and support at this key level then price started to go up is this a great sign absolutely this is a great sign especially the easter holiday a lot of people were taking off the markets and whatnot it was just a slow moving market now we're slowly going to see picking up of momentum and this momentum is going to translate to a lot of altcoins and this is where my topic for omi is going to come guys i'm going to show you some key things that i'm going to be doing for omi and look at simple trades that i'm going to be taking in the background as well guys i do trade a lot of altcoins but especially like to trade omi just because a lot of people say you cannot and it's just funny to me because omi is one of the best coins actually right now to be traded okay so we're going to take a look at all of this fun stuff other than that guys remember we talked about this fake out price went back up this is really great let me remove this drawing right here and the reasons why I wanted to remove this drawing is to show you a simple little price action right here. This is the move that we have right here. And what we want to do here is to look at price action or simple patterns that's going to give us a bullish outcome. Okay, so a bullish outcome could be a wedge, a descending wedge, a falling wedge, channels, whatever you guys want to talk about, head and shoulders, whatever you want to see here, you go to a lower time frame, find those patterns here for us to find comfort in those buying potential. Okay, but I am in a beautiful beautiful trade right now if you guys really wanted to you could just make it simple for yourself maybe you could say to yourself this is a symmetrical triangle sure if this is a symmetrical triangle all you're going to do is look for a simple breakout location of interest right here this is your extensions look exactly where it goes look left of structure and this is going to be your take profit zone if this is going to be your take profit zone look left of structure and make sure you have confluence in the market if you have confluence in the market, what you want to do is simplify your trading approach. If this is your trade, what you're going to do is get into a long position here. Make sure you put your stop loss evenly. Okay, guys, I know there's a lot of wicks here. A lot of people are aggressive. If you're aggressive, you go in. If you're a little bit less aggressive, you want to put it underneath the wick a little bit below just to be safe in case you get wicked out. Of course, this trade looking like it's like a one to one, not something that I personally like. But if I go to a lower time frame, I could find a two to one trade here and put my stop loss maybe a little bit tighter that's totally fine guys there's a lot of different approaches you could do just in this little moment to make a ton of money i do believe this price action is showing us confidence that it could go higher if price does once again breaks and holds underneath this trend line that is the red flag that we need to start to look into our other cryptos and say hey is this a good time to buy or not but because price did break to the upside and we do have confirmation once again guys and i'm going to zoom it in right here and we do have confirmation that we did go above our natural daily pivot zone we do have price action showing us it could go all the way to the top of r1 if that's the case we do have some movement to the upside and if that is what we are seeing right now that means a lot of alts do have a chance of pumping so let's go back into the altcoins let's look at omi and let's take a look and see what it's happening there let's get into that Okay, so for OMI, we can clearly see the volume is dying out. It is a lot of indecisions. It's slowing down. A lot of people are getting confused on what to do. That is so crazy to see because there's so much trades right here that I've already taken. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how simple it is to be a great trader, especially in this sideways market. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at this and see what we could do next. Okay, first of all, what I like to do, highlight your key levels, your key zones that you think it's going to be triggered or target zones. Okay, so this is going to be one of my levels of interest just to be safe. I could put a little bit higher. Remember, guys, not just a horizontal line. This is a zone so you could draw whatever way you want. But 
make sure it makes sense to you. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the bottom, which is right here. And we do already understand that when we look left of structure, this is kind of the bottom that it already met. So that is great. That is great to find out, to know this was the true bottom. Now we still do see price going lower lows and lower highs. So we need to find another evidence on when we could slowly start to buy. This is going to be another level in the market where I want it to be broken in order for me to buy. Reasons why, think about it. This is a key level of support now becoming resistance. And we had resistance here once and we had here twice. Of course, we do have more resistance, but I like to look at it at a bigger zone, a bigger light. Okay. So just for that purpose, I do want to see that broken in order for me to look up. Okay. But because we do have a big wick rejection and we do see price going down, but of course, a lot of people say, Hey, look, this is a bullish move. Technically, it's not a bullish move because this move, if it was on top of support, it would have been a bullish move. But because it was underneath resistance, this is actually showing you that the sellers were strong enough to push the price all the way down here. That is showing weakness in the market. Okay, guys. So that is actually technically called weakness. The beautiful thing is we do have this head and shoulders right in front of us. This head and shoulders is playing out so far so well, but we do want to see a break of the neckline. If we do not get that neckline break, and if this neckline neckline does not get broken we could see price going all the way back down and that's a double bottom and that double bottom can push us back up and that'll be a great formation get one more chance at lower price but for this sake we are looking at price we're going to go to a lower time frame and i'm going to show you the bigger picture as long as we identify the bigger zones on the higher time frame we're totally fine because we're working within the confines of the bigger time frame. That's the truth about becoming a great trader. You have to respect the bigger timeline. Okay. The other thing is if I wanted to draw a trend line, this could be a little trend line just to give me evidence of what not can happen. Okay, guys, the cool thing about this trend line is this. Okay. If we do see price breaking this, a lot of people will urge to say, Hey, John said, if it breaks this level, we could look to buy. Sure. We can look to buy, but we need the right price action. If that does not happen, guess what's going to happen? Maybe price can fall one more time. As long as it does not break this top, we can have a bigger head and shoulders to give us a bigger move to the upside and which that is still a great thing to have. Okay, guys, remember trading price action is not just about having one idea. It's about adapting to the senses of what can actually happen. New ideas, new methods will always be formed. As long as you're adapting, that's all that matters in trading. Okay, so let's go to the fora and see exactly what we can see for a trade setup. Okay, so right here we do have a beautiful trade setup. I want to show you what it is looking like. And this is the cool thing about trading. Let's go right here. As much as people don't want to see it, look at how cool this is, guys. We do have a beautiful channel. And like I always try to preach to a lot of people, we look for a retest of structure, a breakout. And look at this. We have a retest of structure. Of course, we don't have a huge red bearish candle, but that is something that you need to wait for for a simple good entry. Okay, guys, we're looking for that perfect entry to make a ton of money. Okay, so this is the purpose of this. And when you do this, you can actually go from the inside to the other side of the channel, the upwards channel, and you do this guys, look at how cool that is exactly falls into the place of where the reversal happened. So this is just showing you confirmation that there was a reversal surely going to happen. And this was a zone that it happened at. Okay, guys. So now we do see price going up. We have a lot of confirmation. This can happen. We can get a wick rejection. Price can go down. What I want to do is this. This is how I'm going to play the game. And if you guys want to make money, this is just a cool way of looking at it. But please do your own educational research. This is not financial advice. This is just something that I do when it comes to trading. OK, so the channel is broken. We do see it's retesting structure, but more or less, guys, this is the breakout zone. We have the head and shoulders I drew out and look at how beautiful this looks, a beautiful head and shoulders. The cool thing is if it does break to the upside, let's take a look at this take profit. Let's go right here. Let's see where it lands. Wow. It lands exactly at the levels that we were looking at. This is the level in the market where we told each other that this is going to be high levels of taking profit, sell walls and all of that fun stuff. This is the level we're looking to take profit, guys. OK, so that is going to be the key level. The other thing is this. If this pattern does not break and it goes lower, where am I going to look to buy? Very simple. Where am I going to look to buy? It's going to be super simple. What you need to do is get your trend lines out. 
So you need to adapt to the new ideas and the environments that is happening. So this now could be an ascending triangle. That means that if price fails to break it the first time, we're not going to sell all the way to the bottom here. Absolutely not. We're going to sell into the bottom trend line. So that means what we need to do is take a short, look for a selling opportunity and our sell needs to be there and our stop loss needs to be above a wick. Or if you want to be tight, it's up to you what kind of trader you want to be. This is going to be my trade. Of course, I'm looking for three take profits and that's how it's going to go. But remember what we talked about. Bitcoin is at the prime of breaking to the upside. If Bitcoin breaks, then guess what? We should see a good confirmation that this is going to be a move to the upside. And if that's the case, we take away this trade and we have a different bias to the upside. What we can start to do is understand that we're slowly making higher highs and higher lows. The reasons why I'm showing you guys this is let's take a look at this. Let me remove the drawing and let's go into the line graph. And once we're in the line graph, take a look at how cool this is. We technically actually made a higher high. And we're now making a higher low. So as much as we don't want to see it, this is kind of showing me a sign that we could see a reversal. And if that's the case, guys, be on the lookout because if this level gets broken, technically 0 0.002728 ish and look to aim for the levels of your all time highs right here around 0 0.0030 mark. OK, and that's going to be really terrific reasons why this is another level that we need to break in order for us to go up. So trading is like stairs. We don't want to jump the stairs. We want to take step by step and make sure every risk we take is calculated. Remember, guys, if you're not taking a trade that's two to one, you're technically gambling. If you are taking a one to one trade, make sure that it is in your favor and you do take other trades that are three to one and four to one. I like my risk to reward always doubled my risk. OK, guys, my reward has to be always doubled. And if you keep it simple, like that trust me trading will be simple if you make it too hard it is going to really destroy you from the inside out guys and emotions is a big thing when it comes to trading and as much as i talk to you guys about this formation take a look at this well we had that take profit here but if you notice that this right here did make a symmetrical triangle absolutely it made a symmetrical triangle and look at this a double top an extra confirmation that right there to me when it breaks out that is one of the strongest sells you can absolutely get. And the cool thing about this, guys, if I do this and take my take profit, look at how cool that is exactly to the line. Everything that comes to price action, everything you need to learn takes time, guys. But trust me, trust the process and you will absolutely make some great money and a great living if this is the way you want to go. So remember, this is just a repeat. Once again, wait for this level 0 0.002728 to be broken. Wait for the retest and aim for your 0 0.00. 30. Remember to take first, second, and third take profit. Third is always going to be at the top. When it gets broken, we look for another trade. If price does break the bottom levels right here and it does break below, we do have great confirmation. Guess what, guys? It's time to start to sell. All right, simple as that, okay? We have this beautiful ascending triangle. If this ascending triangle, let's put it into another way. If this ascending triangle does get broken here, we do have a great percentage of taking profit all the way to the bottom there. We do not want to extend or take profit below. Why? Because this could be a double bottom. And then guess what? We could see price going back up. The only time I would believe that this could get broken is if we do see this getting a retest of structure then that could give us more confirmations for sellers to come in. Then we can blow it through. And that's going to be another trade, another topic and another video. Other than that, if you do enjoy this video and you like the simplicity of this content, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. I really do appreciate the community for coming out, watching my content. Hopefully these videos do give you that edge on becoming a better trader or just a better investor. I really want the best for this community and I'm going to be here until we all reach the moon. Other than that, take it easy and John out.